Hi there, my little demons and divas and demonites. Bienvenidos, welcome back to my channel. Que la que mi gente, estamos divas, estamos encendidos. It is I, Isa, aka the demon diva and the big dog. You see him, he's right back there. He's resting. Because we have been brainstorming today, trying to predict what are we going to see at Survivor Series War Games. War Games! Survivor Series is in a couple of weeks. And I feel like there are some obvious matches there, but there's also some that I have no clue how it could go. So I thought I put together what what the Survivor Series match could look like. And as you can see by my old school notes, there's a lot of question marks. So before I get into my imaginary Survivor Series card, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I have been uploading a lot more content for you guys as you requested. We're uploading shorts. We're uploading videos like this one. We're uploading videos for our members only. And in addition to that, I do go live for Raw, NXT, SmackDown, Dynamite, PLE, as long as the schedule permits it. We are here to watch the wrestling with you guys. So hit the notification bell. So you get notified every time I go live and hit the subscribe button so you can join in the fun. And if you would like to join even more fun, become a channel member. There's exclusive videos for you guys to check out over there. All right, let's get into it. And I struggle to come up with a Survivor Series card because there are some matches that are so obvious that are going to happen. While there are some that I have no clue what they're going to do with these specific individuals. Now... The first thing that I will tell you, I want you to know how my train of thought went in because I'm going to ask you to predict the Survivor Series card in the comment. That way we can go back and make fun of us for being so wrong. But I thought I'm going to put six matches on the card. They just did technically six, but it was seven matches for Crown Jewel. But I'm expecting the War Games match to go for a while. So I'm going to think that they're going to do six. Another thing that I was thinking about is I don't think there's going to be another War Games match. I actually think there's going to be only one War Games match. I'm saying War Games a lot. War Games! But I think there's only going to be one War Games match. And of course, I'll start with that one because it's the most obvious blatant story that's been in your face for the last few months. And that is the Temu bloodline against the original bloodline. I think it's going to be four on four. Okay, I don't think we're going to see any new additions. I think it's too late to add new additions and to get invested in new people. So I think what we're going to be seeing is going to be Temu bloodline, the Solo Sokoa's bloodline of Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu. Uh, Tonga Loa and Tomatonga against obviously the OG, the tribal chiefs, Roman Reigns original bloodline, and that is Roman Reigns, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and Sami Zayn. We did see how well they worked together in a war game smash when they did that war game smash a couple of years ago. Of course, Solo was on this side of the equation and it was a five on five, but I personally thought that that was quite an entertaining match and I thought that the original bloodline did a lot to uh, entertain us during that war games match so we know what ca what they're capable of inside the war game structure however solo was there and solo was quite good too and i think it's exciting the possibility of seeing jacob inside a war games match i think it's exciting to see what the Thomas, the japan boys okay i call them the japan boys what the japan boys can do inside war games i think it will be a feel good moment especially if this ends up main eventing for the og bloodline to win and i'm obviously being 100 percent biased roman reigns is my favorite of all time and i don't like all the l's that they're taking <laughs> i mean he did win a bad blood but i just didn't like what they did at crown jewel so um, I do see the original bloodline walking away with the win here. Otherwise, why put them together unless they continue the story? But I personally feel like this bloodline is just reuniting just for war games. I actually feel like they rushed that a little bit, but they're doing a good job with the story. But I feel like they should have just taken a little more time, but they know blood, um, war games is coming up. So we got we to gotta get them back together real quick. I would have liked to see a little extra drama. We'll see what happens on SmackDown this week when Sami Zayn is going to speak with the OTC in regards to why he came out to help at Crown Jewel, etc., etc. But I do think we do see that match for sure. I think it means main events and i think it's gonna be a killer match i think that is a I've locked down safe safe bet in this trying to predict the card up next i actually 
I had a match in there, which is the obvious, because we did see a battle royal this week for number one contender for Liv Morgan's uh, World Championship, World Women's Championship, in which Io Sky ended up walking away with the win. Insane finish to that match, too. Io Sky is an absolute legend, Matt Lab. But I thought Liv and Io is not only an obvious choice, but allegedly uh, there's an event in December, Saturday night heat main event thing and that's gonna be televised so we gotta save some matches for that and i was thinking based on the schedule that cody rose posted on his uh twitter that he posts every month hey this is where you guys can see me he did not include war games so it made me wonder wow is cody not gonna be on the show i'm assuming i want you to know my train of thought okay i promise i'm not just rambling so i'm assuming if cody's not gonna be a part of that pay-per-view then gunther will be right so what title match do we say for the December event, I thought Liv and Io will be safe for that. So what do I give Liv Morgan here? I saw Liv Morgan in an interview with TMC and she said that she is one tag team title away from having the best year ever. Little things, it's the little things, planting little seeds. So I thought at Survivor Series War Games, we're gonna see Liv Morgan and Raquel face off against the tag team titles against the tag team champions Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill. It was teased all over this week. Yeah, we have a battle royal, but I think the bigger angle here was the tension that Liv was trying to set between Jade and Bianca and the things that she was saying to them. That's, that didn't go over my head. I like that a lot. Therefore, I think that at Survivor Series War Games, we actually see a tag team match between Liv Morgan and Raquel against Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. I do. I think that we save Liv and Io for Saturday night's main event, which is going to be on Peacock, and they give us this killer match. I actually look very much forward to it. So that's what I think we see at Survivor Series War Games. Take a shot every time I say War Games in this video. War Games! Like I was saying, because of the absence of the possible absence, I'm not sure, I'm just basing it, basing it on what Cody posted. No Cody. So I do think there should be a championship defended here. Therefore, and because of what we saw on Monday, I do think we see Gunther against Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship on this show at Survivor Series. Because if Liv is going to be going for the tag teams and Cody is not there, one of the main championships need to be defended on this show. And Gunther versus Damian Priest is going to be it. I think that uh, they put on an insane good match at uh, SummerSlam. I actually think that was my favorite match. Out of, and I think he had some bangers, but out of Damian Priest's reign as World Heavyweight Champion, his match with Gunther was my favorite because Gunther had like the wounds to show it. And Gunther has been booked like such a monster. But when you look at him side by side, he, he should be fearing Damian Priest, you know? And I'm glad that Gunther finally kind of acknowledged him because he kept dismissing him throughout their feud. Kept dismissing Damian Priest at, oh, you ain't shit. So I'm glad that on Monday we saw Gunther say, hey, there's three good competitors, <laughs> and then there's some. And, I, and I'm glad that he's starting to see Damian Priest as a threat. You were in the ring with him. And I can, I can excuse him dismissing Damian Priest before their match, but when his chest was bleeding from wrestling Damian Priest, I would assume that moving forward, you're going to acknowledge that he is a very dangerous uh, competitor and giving his flowers. So I, I really did like that, and I think we will be seeing that at Survivor Series. Now, now let's get into some of the rematches that I think we will be seeing at this event. Is this a rematch? I don't think so, because the match never happened, but I do think this is where we finally see Randy Orton and Kevin Owens in a match, because that match never happened at, um, at Crown Jewel. I do think it's a regular match, and I have a case for that with the match that I have after this. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I think there's going to be some kind of like roommate, like if Kevin Owens goes crazy, he gets suspended, something to where he just has to promise that he's not going to lose control. He's just going to wrestle Randy. And I'm very curious about how this goes because I do think that the winner here is the person that will go on to face Cody Rhodes possibly at Saturday night's main event. So I do think... Okay. I just, I, I just had an uh, Tiffany epiphany. <gasps> I just had a Tiffany epiphany. That is how you get Kevin Owens to wrestle a regular match. You tell them, oh my God, I'm so smart. You tell them, hey, the winner of this match is going to go on to face Cody for the title. 
then Kevin Owens is not going to do anything to sell sabotage. He's going to try to wrestle the match. And I think the winner of this match will become the number one. <laughs> Why did I just book it? Where's, where's, where's Finn Balor? <laughs> we should have you right in the show. <laughs> well, I'm going to clip that. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I think that Kevin Owens and Randy Orton will face off one-on-one -on -one at Survivor Series, and the winner will be the number one contender for Cody. And I think that's how we get away with not putting Cody on the card and how this stays a regular match without any shenanigans. However, the match that I do think happens as a rematch with a stipulation is going to be Seth Rollins against Bronson Reed. Now, Seth Rollins did defeat Bronson Reed. It took everything in him to defeat him. But Bronson Reed made it clear that he wanted more. And he made it even more clear this Monday where he cost Seth Rollins the number one contendership for Gunther's World Heavyweight Championship. So I would assume that Seth Rollins is not going to let that go. Therefore, I do think we see the rematch here. And that... My friends, it's what I had no issues coming up with matches. After that, I became stuck. Okay, I have the first question mark that I have is Braun Breaker versus who? We haven't seen anything from Braun Breaker since defeating Jey Uso for the Intercontinental Championship. And we saw the United States Championship on Crown Jewel. I don't have a problem with their alternative which mid-card mid title we see on the card, but we just saw a United States Championship match. Therefore, I do think that Braun Breaker should be here. And if I have to take a look, I don't even know who, who he should be facing. I think maybe within the next few weeks we see a number one contenders tournament or match, and that's how we determine who Braun Breaker's uh, opponent is. But as of right now, I'm going to say that we do see Braun Breaker defend his IC Championship on the card. I just could not tell you again against who because I don't think they have anybody ready. I also have women's match question mark. I don't think we'll, if, we, if they put another war games match to get the women's a war games match. I just said war games match three times. War games! It's going to feel force. So, and, we, and we're going to see Liv Morgan on the card. So we put Nia Jax. Do we decide a number one contender for her and have Nia Jax defend her championship there? Do we have Nia against Tiffany? I'm not sure, but as of right now, I only have one women's match on the card, so I'm assuming the next one is going to be a match, and because we have the tag team champions and the, and the world champion in the same match, I'm going to assume that this is going to be Nia Jax, and I give Nia Jax the same case as Braun Breaker. I think we see Nia Jax defend her championship on the card. I just don't know against who. Maybe they make a number one contender something happen on SmackDown prior to Survivor Series. So that is my preliminary card, what I think could be happening in Survivor Series War Games. I'll repeat it. Obviously, we have a War Games match between the Bloodline versus the Timu Bloodline, and I think that's going to be the main event. I think we see Liv Morgan and Raquel go against Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair for the tag team titles. I think we see Gunther versus Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. I think we see Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Winner becomes number one contender. I think we see Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed in some kind of no DQ match. I think we see Braun Breaker defend his IC championship, and I think we see Nia Jax defend her WWE Women's Championship. I just couldn't tell you against who right now, but we still have a couple of weeks. We can build this up. What do you guys think of my card? Also, please, in the comments, let me know your imaginary card. Let me, if you had to predict Crown Jewel right now, who do you think will be in the card? Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Adios. Mwah.